Hi guys. Okay. So another thing that I wanted to show you here in Target, this is a bit of a continuation from the last video because it's about preparing your home environment for your child's independence. Um, <clears throat> I wanted to show you this stool. So this is one of the only stools that they sell here. If you go to the Neen House website, Neen House is a Montessori supply catalog and a store. They don't, I don't believe they have a physical location. However, they have the Montessori stool, which is a catawampus. It's really big. And it's nice because it's made out of a light wood. I think it's balsam wood. And the child can push it around the kitchen. However, it's overwhelming. And it's got these big walls. And the child can see over the edge. They're not going to fall. But anyhow, this is an idea of a nice stool that you can use kind of as a starter. And it's simple. It can go in front of the toilet. It can go in front of the kitchen sink. And it folds up so that you can store it really easily too. $16.99 here at Target. This particular Target I And I, believe it or not, used one of these at the kitchen sink. I have searched high high and far, far and wide. I searched low. all over. High and low. <laughs> I've searched high and low. And I have not been able to find a stool that works perfectly for, what, 10 to 18 months because they're so tiny. So, I used this for Greg. The one that I have is white. But it was approximately, did we run out of filming time? No, I'm right? looking at it. Oh, okay, sorry. <laughs> Technical difficulties. Moving on. It was approximately this size. And it was really nice because he could push it up against the sink and he could crawl up here to wash his hand, hands. The only drawback is that this bar gets in the way when they're trying to get to the sink. And it's not quite high enough. So I am looking to design something. If you see one online, if you happen to come across one, please let me know. Um, I would like to, this is really cool because it's very light and the child can carry it. It's super. You want the child to be able to push it around because trust me, as soon as they start walking, they are going to push everything around. They love to pick things up and push everything around. In the assistance to infancy class, um, in the training, they have uh, these beautiful books that you know are required in order for you to get your certification. And they have these incredible black and white videos, or I'm sorry, black and white uh, images in them, photographs of these children carrying huge bags of rice from one side of the store to the other side, or excuse me, from one side of the playground or one side of the classroom to the other side of the classroom. Um, I think the picture that I saw was on a playground, bags of sand, and um, one was, a, I believe one was a bag of rice. and. It's phenomenal. They will walk for miles and miles and miles because they are mastering their ability to walk. Do not, whatever you do, do not interrupt them. Let them, okay, make sure you're not. Okay. I'm, so I'm not. not here. I'm not. Okay. I'm not. I can see you. So please make sure you don't interrupt their walking. There's absolutely no reason to carry them after they have already started walking. They are very capable. Remember that. Observe. Focus on their independence. They're super capable. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you all have a great new year.